are back in Philly. It has been a long year and some change, y'all. I am Aisha Taylor Issa, the proud and humble founder and CEO of the Sisters in Business Expo. We are the country's, yes, honey, yes. We are the country's only multi-city small business expo and community created to showcase and celebrate entrepreneurial women of color. First and foremost, it is such a blessing to be here today. We done went through a pandemic, panoramic, and we still going through it. So make some noise if you came out healthy and ready to win. Y'all ready to have a good time? And this is why it's so important to just be ready for any opportunity that comes your way because you don't know where it's gonna take you. If you let me in the room, once you let me in the room, I'm gonna stay in the room now. <laughs> I'm and gonna that's work the room. And that's why you back today. Once you, thank you, you see what, <laughs> okay? You see Talk I'm back, right? <laughs> I did a good job in the land, they brought me back. And right. I will be also in DC. Now you know a mindset, okay? What we think is what we manifest. Come on. So I could have said, I'm 38 years old, I can't possibly get into TV. And guess what? That would have been the case. Yeah. So you have to be very careful with the words that you speak over your business. Yeah, Definitely. Okay? We need to have the long view about what we're building and creative. Sisters in Business Expo didn't start overnight. It's been around for a few years, but I know Aisha has something up her sleeve. <laughs> Sister Shop seemingly came up from nowhere, but I know she didn't just think of it. I just got a call about it. It just, so, like when you're thinking future, protect your what you're creating early. It is much easier to protect and invest now than to try to fix a mistake later. So make sure you know your priorities states first. Please know your priorities, your peace of mind, right? If it's not working out to you and your boo, get rid of your boo. Because a lot of y'all be holding on to your boo and he ain't no good for you. He's drowning you. He's drowning. He, he or she is pulling you down and you up there trying to call the lifeguard. The lifeguard like, it's him. The lack of like, oh, it's him. Now you gotta cut him. You said, don't save me. You gotta oh, save anger. yourself first. They liked what I stood for. And as a brand, they thought that I would be a great representation for them. You know, Seagram's is actually a very women focused um, business, which I didn't know any of these things until I started working with them. And that partnership started off with me creating my creating one signature drink, the Peach Bellini, which a lot of you guys saw it on the show. A little drama at the lunch party mm -hmm. and all of that. But anyway, but the point is, I made sure them Seagram's Escapes were shown on the show, okay? No, that's right. <laughs> and I whatever that's drama right. had to come with it, that's just what it is. But you saw them Seagram's Escapes, okay? Right, so you know, sometimes mommy might need to have a cow gone night. Take the bubble bath for an hour. A drink a nice bottle of, um, you know, not bottle, a glass, a bottle, a bottle, a glass of, a glass of wine. Um, you know, just, but you gotta have those moments for yourself because you have to replenish because people are wearing you out. Sacrifice something. We've all had to do it. Um, successful people decide that this is what I, this is my gift, this is my mission, this is my ministry. I'm going to sow my own seed into that. And then other people will see that you're willing to make that sacrifice and then they'll sow seed into your, your business as well or your whatever it is you're trying to do. Yeah. And so I really want everybody to know that the only way to build wealth in America is with a business, but it's with a business that can run without you. You got to build a business that you're not necessarily the center of. Every dollar in your business can't touch one of your two hands. You have to build systems and hire people so that your business can, your brand can be in the room and you not have to be there. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all something. Now here's something that I really want y'all to take in. And remember this, cause the people will try you in life. The people will try and shake your confidence. They will try to make you doubt yourself. But know this, and this is something that um, a street walker, a lady of the evening taught me. Once you're paid for something, you're a professional.